definitely an out. Okay, ladies, let's do this right. Let's go ahead on and raise up our glasses, okay? Ebony Fashion Fair alumni is super, super excited. Regina Mixon Bates. Regina Mixon Bates, first African American to be named chairperson for a national conference geared towards certified medical professionals. The author of Against the Odds, a story of assurance, strength, love, and hope. She graced the runways of Evan Fashion Fair and internationally for top designers. Once she made the shift from the catwalk to healthcare, she held key positions at top healthcare organizations. In 2010, she worked with the Obama administration on the passing of healthcare reform and has received countless awards as an entrepreneur. Recognized in August of 2012, both the city of Atlanta and the state of Georgia for helping providers to excel in their professions. August 2015, the city of Atlanta by proclamation recognized her for organizing a reunion of former Ebony Fashion Fair models to Atlanta for a weekend of get back to the youth of the city. Serial entrepreneur, author, national speaker, community servant leader, ladies and gentlemen, we present Regina Mixon Bates. Renee Moore. Renee Moore, leading international and beauty fashion influencer, a native of New Orleans, Louisiana. She evolved from an international runway model, vice president, executive banker, to owning the Lenore Group and the Global Women Wealth Warriors. She's been recognized as one of the most influential women in Georgia, who's who in Black Atlanta three times, and known for her unwavering women empowerment and leadership activities have afforded her to receive numerous awards. From an Ebony Fashion Fair model to working alongside with Oscar De La Rente, Emmanuel Angara, Tadashi, Massimo, Halston, and Diane von Furzenberg, just to name a few. Noor is living in her destiny as a mother of a 21-year-old daughter by inspiring and motivating others in business, fashion, and beauty. She works with underprivileged girls and thrives in living a life of excellence. Humanitarian, fashion and beauty influencer, global marketing strategist, ladies and gentlemen, Renee Noor. is definitely one of the Hollywood's people on the moon. A triple career woman whose accomplishments in the last decade have surpassed a lifetime of achievements for most people. Her career accomplishments expand from being a print and runway model, a top makeup artist, a casting director for music videos, commercials, and films, a record label executive, a writer, producer, and director, and a successful music manager who has negotiated $2 million in recording and publishing contracts to the leadership of one of the world's top voted hip-hop magazines. She's produced international events for two African presidents. However, her most heartfelt accomplishments have been raising two beautiful and amazing twin babies who have both graduated from college. Producer, writer, editor, director of music entertainment, ladies and gentlemen, Tammy Duchesne. Dr. Jada Jackson. Dr. Jada Jackson is known for her transparent, practical style of communicating and training. Her ultimate goal is to guide others into meaningful and purposeful living. 
practically in the areas of personal and professional development, emotion management, and behavioral modification. Dr. Jada is the president of Total Life Counseling Center in Dallas. She is a licensed mental health counselor in the state of Florida and a licensed professional counselor in the state of Texas. Additionally, Dr. Jada works as counseling psychology professional for the NBA, NBPA, Health Education Program, the Major League Baseball Association, WWE, and with other professional athletes. Dr. Jada has also spent 10 years with Ebony Fashion Fair as a runway model, spokes model, commentator, and a face of Fashion Fair Cosmetics. Author, counselor, commentator, and talk show host, ladies and gentlemen, we introduce you to Dr. Jada Jackson. We have to really concentrate on our our mental stability, and I know Jada's going to talk about that, but we have to talk about, we have to think about our health, if you will. So I want to challenge us all, if you will, to um, think about meditating. And if we think about meditating a little bit, it's going to help us overall with our health um, because uh, there's so many health benefits to meditating. One of the things that I would like to share is the fact that even in my office, in working with my clients, boundaries are just important. Everybody understand ba understands boundaries, but when it comes to social distancing and making a decision about what you should do versus what you shouldn't do, I want to share just very quickly five tips for setting healthy boundaries, whether it's during COVID or just in general, because we can all use just a refresher on that. But one of the things that I appreciated, and this probably hasn't been brought out, is that Johnson Publishing in the building, as you know, Mr. Johnson had a cafeteria and he was able to, he fed all of the employees at the Johnson Publishing building. I had never seen that before. It's possible. That's right. Stick to it. Create and build your concept. Someone will love it. You may get criticized, but you know what? Deal with it, okay? That's not something that you have to worry about. The key to it is just don't give up. All right? I want you to stay focused. Remember, everything and everyone may even have an opinion. Just don't allow that opinion to crush your dreams. And that's really, really important.